Oh, greetings and salutations. Coming to you from the Spring Mountains. On the east side of the Spring Mountains. Not on the Prump side, but on the Las Vegas side. We decided to do a little uh, camping today. And the campground up there to uh, between Lee Canyon and Kyle Canyon. There's a campground called Hilltop. And uh, it's full. On a Tuesday. Oh, bad kids. So we decided to do a little dispersed camping. We got uh, just around that bend is uh, you can see North Las Vegas, and then up over there is Mount Charleston. Actually, behind behind that rock right there is Mount Charleston. <laughs> So we're gonna give this a shot. We haven't done this in four years. Those, the twins, I hear you. The twins were like 18 months old last time we went camping. That was in Coal Creek. Come on. So, it was, uh, it was 98 degrees when we left Las Vegas, or Las Vegas, when we left uh, Prump, which means it was probably 105 degrees in Las Vegas. And it's gotta be probably 80 degrees up here. It's beautiful. So we're gonna set up the tent, right. clear spot. You wanna clear it right here? Okay, right here. Okay, we'll, we'll clear it right here, okay? We'll clear a spot for our tent, we'll set up the tent, get camp set up. See you in a minute. How you doing, buddy? Well, there's home away from home. <sighs> Where'd I buy that tent? I don't remember where I bought it. Hey! Watch your mouth. Uh, Northwest Territory. I believe I got that at Meyer Thrifty Acres. Back in 2000, 18 years ago. Holy. Oh, and uh, I'm, I made my first trip out west, west, west of Chicago. I'd never been any further than, than west of Chicago. Uh, with a, with the exception of flying to Alaska, but you know, in the continental United States, never been west of Chicago. In 2000, I was determined I was gonna go out west. That's the year I met Martin. And I bought this tent, and I lived in it for two weeks. Two weeks, seven thousand miles. Good times. So I had to uh, put the rain cover on it and get the bedding in it. And we'll be set. Watch out, buddy. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not going to get very much sleep tonight. Hunter, come on. That was those ramen noodles. Good. Yeah. Good. I think they're gone. Peanut butter and jelly head over there. Right over there. Coincidentally, my little Budweiser uh, alcohol stove worked splendidly to heat that up. Hey, do you mind not spilling it all over the place? It's food, it's not a weapon. Young man, we'll do a hike tomorrow. Come on. Saw some wild horses coming in. I do a little glass and see if I can find some wildlife. I didn't see anything. But I am going to uh, call tonight. I'm going to sit down and uh, hang out with my kids. And try to keep that one from running away. He's got some kind of fascination with that hill. Can't keep him off it. And somehow he likes to throw dirt in here and catch it with his face. Yeah. We'll get up probably really early because I won't get any uh, very much sleep. At least not a very good night's sleep. And I will uh, break camp and we're going to go up and hike Mary Jane Falls again.
We haven't done that. I think we did that two years ago. Or maybe it was a year ago. I don't know. I have to check. But uh, my wife is afraid of heights and she doesn't like uh, the switchback, so she didn't want to go. And uh, I want to go. So we're going to go. And before it gets dark, I think I'm going to scour this for for uh, brass. I'm finding a lot of old brass. We Oh, live rounds. It's a little smooshed. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to sleep by the door. Get up here. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, bright and early. One hour later. Next morning. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Such a good girl. What are you gonna do? We don't need sticks. We need to break camp. Good morning. And just like I predicted, a very sleepless night for me. These children slept like stones. I remember to be young and you sleep on the ground. Ugh. I don't like that kind of more. So I'm gonna bus camp and it probably won't be used for another five years. And an hour later, it's gone. So are we. To the trailhead. Lovely. Oh, nice. Superb. Fucking pigs. A few moments later. Well, it didn't last very long. Uh, apparently, it's too cold. It's like, it's like 60 degrees. Yeah. Uh, you won't be saying that in about a month when it's 110 degrees at home. Kids. Yeah. We'll try again when it's 110 degrees at home. Hey, that's not our beamer. That's not our beamer. Come on. Nice. Oh, sweet. Friggin' pigs. Two hours later and we're still a lot out of the general area. Told the kids that uh, if they weren't gonna go hiking, we we're gonna go scrounging for brass and we did good. So we left Mount Charleston, drove to Lee Canyon, came down off Lee Canyon, picked up the 95, went to Cold Creek, went up Cold Creek Road to this range out here, this little mountain range, and all along the, the edge of this is, is uh, 
well this is all BLM land but all along those hills over there is uh, like a designated shooting area and every time almost every time we come down through this way I try to stop there at least into the uh, first half of it and we do pretty good I filled up my lunch bucket yes I did I filled up my little uh, 12 pack cooler with breath yeah now we're gonna go to hit another spot by Indian Springs and see if we can't score some more two hours later the last place is a pretty good score too Keep busy for a while. Oh. All right, now I gotta load this truck. Oh, I must have been tired because I uh, downloaded the footage onto my computer, started doing my edit, and I realized I never closed the video out. So I'll have to do that now. And check this out first. Look, this house went like really fast, and all of a sudden it stopped. And for two weeks, they haven't done anything with the stucco, the the, the roof's been stocked for a month. They haven't done anything with the roofing. But these HVAC guys, man, they've been working like dogs for the last week. Been here all weekend, staying late. and It's 7 o'clock at night. Now they didn't leave until 8 o'clock last night. That's called work ethic. You don't see too much of that anymore. And I'm going to get that guy's number. Maybe I'll have him charge the bus when that mini split is uh, done. But anyway... Reviewing some of the footage of that camping trip, you know, I'm kind of grateful the kids decided not to go on that hike because, man, I got maybe three hours, three and a half hours of halfway decent sleep, and, you know, I had feet in my face and, and kicking in the head, and, I mean, these kids, they have to be touching me, you know, and not that I mind. Um, I'd gladly do it again tomorrow if, if they really wanted to. But I'm glad they decided they didn't want to go on that hike because, man, my my hips still hurt from laying on that hard rocky ground. Really. But, there you do. You know, the things I do to create some memories with my children. Good time. Good time. So that was our little camping expedition. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time watching it. And if you didn't, I'm sorry I wasted your time. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give me thumbs up hammer away at that like button that really helps the channel if you didn't like it you could hammer away at the dislike button either way is okay with me if you haven't done so yet down underneath this window on the right hand side there's a big red button that says subscribe click that subscribe button and then right next to it is a picture of a bell because apparently clicking subscribe isn't good enough anymore you got to click the bell icon to get notifications when when I upload a video so go ahead and click that uh, subscribe button, click the bell icon, and then you'll be notified next time I load up a video. Comment in the comment section if you're so inclined. I'll read every comment. I Sometimes I just don't have the time to respond to every comment, but I read everyone. And I appreciate taking time, not only to watch these videos, but take the time to make a comment. I appreciate that a lot. Thanks. Share this video with your vast social media network. And until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. Bye. Gotta move a sprinkler.